Let's take a look at this hour by hour so you can plan out your Friday. As we get into your start of the morning commute, the more north and west you live or travel with Grand Rapids, you'll see this rainfall first. As we head into midday, it'll start to push into central uh, west Michigan and then continue to move off towards the Detroit area around your dinner hour. So really mostly into the mid afternoon time frame, majority of us will have to worry about the rainfall. This will still hold on to Kalamazoo though heading into your dinner hour. When we get into the overnight, we'll be mostly dry, mostly cloudy, but a lingering shower is possible as that shower activity it can even hold on into tomorrow morning. So from uh, today into tomorrow, it's really light rain. We're talking a, a quarter of an inch, maybe a half of an inch at best. So overall, overall, a really light setup for us. Temperature wise this morning, we are in the lower to upper 50s mostly. Outliers here, Muskegon at 61, Big Rapids and Ionia at 49. We're a little bit breezy. We're gonna keep a little bit of a breeze today. We're even gusting at this time frame in Muskegon at 20 miles per hour. So this cold front will come through, bringing this rainfall. We're only gonna push our temperatures into the mid 60s, which is below average for this time of year. But again, later on this evening, the more north and west you live, you may see some sunshine as this really is going to make that northwest to southeast push throughout the entire day today, slowly but surely. We'll uh, have that sunset there at 902 as well. So maybe you're heading to the lakeshore. Waves will be a bit rough today, two to four feet for a majority of the day, one to three for later on this evening. Now overnight tonight, again, we can have that very isolated lingering shower. Keep up with a little bit of that breeze and cloudy conditions as temperatures then drop back into the mid and upper 40s. So tomorrow morning, notice this counterclockwise rotation. We'll have a low pressure system coming through. It gives us a very isolated to scattered chance for some activity, mostly in the first half of of the day. Then later on in the afternoon and evening, we'll dry out and try to break up that cloud cover before we lose any sunshine for your Saturday. So later in Saturday, you might squeeze in some sunshine and we'll have plenty of it then on Sunday. Sunday, definitely the better day of the weekend conditions wise and temperature wise. We're really going to start warming up leading into next week. So 67 on Saturday, 74 on Sunday. Look where we're headed next week. The 80s, Wednesday and Thursday, we will get there in the lower 80s, a good 10 degrees above average where we should be sitting this time of year. And I think we're gonna stay there. The next eight to 14 days, Climate Prediction Center puts us in above average temperatures. That takes us through Memorial Day weekend and right into the beginning of June.